Oh, hi, Maple. I feel like this is not the best placement that I could have done, but otherwise I would be right underneath a man's crotch. And I figured that I should just be centered in a different way, so here it is. If you are intimidated by thrift stores, don't have any in your area, or just don't have time to thrift, this is a video for you, so keep watching. Hello, my name is Zara. Welcome to my channel. I'm the founder of Soulful Seeds, a platform with information and inspiration on a sustainable life and style that doesn't hurt the planet, its people, or your wallet. So if you're interested in those things, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay updated for every single video. So today I wanted to take y'all along as I thrift for my clients as part of the Soulful Styling Package. So basically I have been thrifting for a long time. I love to do it. It's one of my biggest passions and I have been going with friends also to help them thrift and navigate thrift stores because it can be overwhelming for quite some time. So a few months ago I realized that I should extend that offer to subscribers and my followers and people who are new to the space or just intimidated by it. So today I want to walk you through the process that I use when thrifting for my clients. So let's go. I first started off with meeting with my clients for about 15 to 20 minutes over Google Meet, um, far superior to Zoom in my humble opinion. Um, I love having that face-to-face -face interaction with clients, especially in these weird, weird times. Um, so I love these meetings and I get a good grasp of their style, what they're going for, um, and their sizing, which is obviously really important for when I go to the thrift store and actually look for pieces that they can wear and use. So again, this is just a short 15 to 20 minute consultation call. Y'all can also sign up for this and it's free um, if you just want to learn more about the services and I can just talk you through them and see if this is something that you feel is right for you. If my clients feel comfortable, I'll often ask for their number or give them my number because I like for this to be a more iterative process and I love having the ability to snap a picture of a piece that I might be unsure about when I'm at the thrift store and text it to them so I can get their feedback whether they like it or not. I do this because I want y'all to be as satisfied with the final product as possible and so i just want to be in communication with you because so i typically go to at least two thrift stores per client because the chances of finding everything that a client wants at one thrift store at one time is pretty rare but if the thrift gods bless me then that sometimes happens one of my favorite thrift stores to go to are goodwill goodwill outlets salvation army savers family thrift and family thrift outlets so i didn't take much footage of me thrifting. I just have some b-roll because um, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone in the store who doesn't want to be filmed. Um, but when I go to these outlet stores, it's a very different thrift experience than going to like a regular Goodwill. Um, if you've ever been to a Goodwill outlet, you know it's very messy. There's no hangers. There's You just dig through a bin of clothes. Every hour a new bin comes out and an employee like basically is like, okay, go. And everyone just like dives into the bins and just f clothes are flinging. It's a mess, but it's also really fun. Uh, so before I go to the thrift store, I make sure I have my gloves, my mask, of course, my reusable bag, usually bags because they'll have to be more than one, um, and hand sanitizer, my notebook, and a measuring tape. And these things are all my necessary products. Make sure I have all these things before I go to the store, put on my gloves, and then get to digging. When I'm done thrifting, I will go home, throw everything that can be washed um, in the washing machine, and then I hang things up to dry on a drying rack. After the clothes are dry, I will do some like maintenance. So if I need to use a lint roller, if I need to you know, get out some of the pilling, um, I have a tool for that. If I need a steam, I'll do that. If I need to bleach an item or a spot on an item, I'll do that. And then I'll proceed to take pictures of the items for the client's presentation package. I take pictures either on my mannequin for tops or um, for bottoms just on a hanger. And then I put them into a little slideshow that looks something like this. The slideshow not only includes pictures of the items, but also ideas and pictures of ways that I think you might like to style each item. Because oftentimes clients will want an item, but not know exactly how they should go about styling it. And the slideshow you keep forever. The hope is that you can reference this 
slideshow whenever you need some styling inspiration. I record a voiceover of me talking through the slideshow so it's not just like you going through it. And then I put all those things, so the video recording of me going through the slideshow, the slideshow itself, um, in a Google Drive folder, and then I share that with the client. After getting the client's feedback, I go ahead and get ready to package and ship the item out. I use this company called Sendle that uses carbon neutral shipping, and I typically use old or recycled cardboard boxes that I found around my house. I live with six people, so that's not too difficult to do. I just ask everyone to keep their boxes for me. Um, I'm constantly looking for more environmentally friendly shipping options though, so if you have any that you recommend, leave them in the comments. Finally, I put a little sweet surprise in every box. Um, I don't want to ruin the surprise here, but it is very soulful seeds of me. So that is my thrift process. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I hope you are inspired to go thrifting, and if you don't have time to or you can't thrift yourself, hit me up. The link is in my bio. I would love to help you cultivate a style and a wardrobe that you love and that the planet loves as well. Get to subscribe. Follow me on the various platforms because it would support me a lot and it's completely free so. And if you have any video recommendations, content, ideas, what have you, leave them in the comments below because this channel is for you and I want to make videos that you want to see. So, love you lots. Can't wait to be on YouTube here more in the new year um, and just increase my presence on this app, connect with so many new people. And yeah, I'm stoked. So see you later.